In this video, we will show you how to replace your air conditioning condenser. Let's get started. A quick note, when doing this job, the part comes out down underneath the vehicle. It does not come up and through the top. With that said, when you safely raise and support, make sure you have plenty of clearance underneath. All right, friends, it's time to get started on our job. The first thing that you need to make sure you do is get yourself safely down to a trained professional and have them evacuate the air conditioning system. One of the ports is located right here and the other one is located inside of the passenger side wheel well. Once they have it properly evacuated, you can continue on with the process. Once your refrigerant has been properly evacuated, you can continue on with your removal process. We're going to make our way back up to the top. Remove this 10 millimeter mounting nut and the bracket from the area. Once you have that undone, continue on along the passenger side of the radiator support bracket. You're going to find another 10 millimeter headed nut that holds the AC line bracket in place. Remove the nut and the bracket. Make your way under the front of the vehicle. On most of these vehicles, there will be three splash shields that make their way across. One in the center and one on either side of it. Ours are missing. For you, remove all three. Now let's continue on to removing our lower air deflector from underneath the radiator support. For this, you'll find four push clips holding it in position. Remove all four using a trim tool. Once you have those four clips out of there, you're going to want to finish removing this center piece. To remove it along each side of it, you'll find that you have two locking tabs holding it in place. Use a pick and something kind of wide and flat that you can make your way in between and gently pry to separate. Once you have one side separated, do the same thing to the other. Give it a quick inspection and set it aside. Now let's apply some support underneath the radiator support beam. Once you have something underneath this holding it up, make your way to both sides of the beam itself. You'll find on either side, there's two 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts. Remove all four. Continue on by lowering this down. Remove that cross beam. I'll set that aside. Put your support back underneath this area, being extremely careful not to damage anything. Make your way to the passenger side of the air conditioning condenser. Along the bottom, you're going to find one of your AC lines. Use a 13 millimeter to remove the nut and then remove the line from the AC condenser. For the second line, it's a little bit harder to access. Make your way straight up the AC condenser along the passenger side. You'll find another 13 millimeter headed nut that holds this line in place as well. Remove it and then remove the line.
Now we need to make our way up in between the AC condenser and the front bumper cover. If your vehicle is equipped with a transmission cooler, you're going to have to separate that. You'll find a black tab on either side of the AC condenser. Pull on that little black tab and then gently lift up on the transmission cooler. To make it easier to reach in, I'll use an angled pick and a pry bar. We'll use the long angled pick to get in between the transmission cooler and that black tab and gently to pry it apart. Once you do, press up with your pry bar to separate it. After one side's apart, do the same to the other. Now let's move the support from underneath this area. What we need to do is make sure that we have a clear way coming straight down underneath the air conditioning condenser. After applying pressure underneath the radiator, we'll continue on by trying to press the condenser towards the passenger side of the vehicle to break it free from its four mounting points. You'll find that you have a mounting point on the top and bottom of each side of the radiator where the condenser slides into. After you have that separated, carefully pull it down and out of the vehicle. Once you have the condenser out of there, you're going to want to look at each of your air conditioning lines that you had removed. Make sure you don't see an O-ring on the line. If you do, make sure you take it off of there. We're going to hold on to that and compare it to a brand new O-ring and then install brand new O-rings on the lines. There's that one. Do the same to the other. Once you've compared it to a brand new one, take the brand new one with a little bit of PAG oil on it and install it on each of your air conditioning lines. It's a good idea to press it all the way onto the line as far as you can. Now that that one's on, I'll do the same to the other. Before you continue putting in your brand new air conditioning condenser, you want to make sure you put in each of your studs. You're going to want one in each one of your ports. To install these, take both of your mounting nuts, one from each line. Put one on upside down, the other one directly against it, and then snug them together. Now we can take that and slide it into here. We'll start it in by hand and then snug it up. Once you have that bottomed out, hold your nut with a wrench, loosen the other with your socket, and then remove the pair. Do the same to your other AC line port. Before you put in your brand new AC condenser, you need to continue on by putting in one ounce of PAG oil inside of the condenser itself before the installation. I've measured one ounce. Now we can install our AC condenser. Looking along each side of the air conditioning condenser, you're going to find the clips that hold that transmission cooler to it. So we're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind. Also on each side of the condenser, you have two little pitons that protrude up and down. Those are to latch into your radiator. Now with that said, let's carefully slide this into place without damaging the fins on our radiator, AC condenser, or transmission cooler. Now when you press this in, you have to be up nice and high up over the hooks with the transmission cooler, press it up against the condenser, and then try to slide it down into the lock position. It can be a little bit difficult to get both sides of this lined up, but with persistence, you can do it. Once you've done that, we're going to continue on to connecting our AC condenser to the radiator. 
As I mentioned, when we we're installing the condenser, on each side, you're going to have a little area that protrudes down and you'll have another one on the upper side. They need to line up with the corresponding holes on the radiator. Once you have it lined up in position, press the two together. For this, I'll just use some pliers. You can also do it by hand. Continue on by installing your air conditioning lines. We'll start with the top one. Line it up, slide it in place over that mounting stud. The line should fit directly into the AC condenser. Once it does, continue on with the mounting nut. Snug it up and then torque it to 80 inch pounds. Continue on to making sure you still have the rubber grommets on the bottom of your radiator. We'll slide those into position. After that, you can take your metallic bar and we'll put that in place as well. Start in all four of your 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts and then snug them up. Now that I have all four of them started, I'll snug them up. If you have a support under here, remove that. Make your way over to the passenger side of that bracket. We're going to resecure our AC line to it. Now let's continue on to putting on our lower air shield. Looking at either end, you'll remember that you have locking clips. Those need to fit directly into this area down under here. Also, when you're sliding it in position, the front area needs to slide into these three locking tabs. Let's start with the front tabs first. There we are. That side's locked in. Do the same to this. Once the front and sides are locked in, lock in the back with your push clips. Back inside the engine compartment, come over and reattach your bracket for the upper AC line. You'll notice on the bottom side of the bracket, it has a little tab that protrudes outward. That fits down and into this bracket. Slide that over the stud. Line up that area that protrudes down. Slide it in position. Now we'll take the other end and put it up and over the stud as well. Continue on with your 10 millimeter headed mounting nut and snug it up. Okay friends, we've fully installed our AC condenser. At this point, make your way over to a trained professional and have them recharge your air conditioning system. After that, take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.